hello friends welcome to my channel today i'm making this tutorial on this simple gown it looks gorgeous but very fast to make you can make this gown in a period of let's say 15 minutes you are done okay so what you need is the fabric and what the measurement you need is the length and then of course to ensure that your fabric is far far more than your biggest circumference all right so for you to make this tie you first of all start with the neck uh, that's the shoulder slope and to do that you need to rule a line of about one inch you need to rule a line of about one inch so on top of this line is where you will be taking all our necessary uh, measurements. So we are going to start with the shoulder slope. We just go down by like two inches from the end of the fabric. Connect it to three inches from the beginning of the fabric. So two inches you go down. Connect it to three inches from the beginning of that line. Yes, then you just take a line to connect. This gown do not need you to create a separate uh, neck. You do not need a neck. So all you need to do is what I have done, now slope your shoulder. Then from that shoulder slope, that is where you now take your length of your, of your gown. So let me say you are using 60. The 60 should start from where the tip is now not from the top of the fabric from where this line is that's where you take the the measurement so i want you to take note of that if you are taking the measurement from the top it will be shortened because of the slope and all the things you need to fix in that place so while you cut out the slope you have to leave about half an inch upwards that which will allow you to fold and then join your shoulders all right so apart from this there are just some few more steps to take and you will be through with this sewing first of all you need to give a space for your neck opening because this neck is going to be like a canoe neck so you can use like six or seven and then you take a distance of six inches and close it and then the next distance of maybe 10 or uh, that is on a fold it will be five so the next distance of five or six you leave it open when i'm going to sew i'll be showing you what i did now one very important thing about this style is that the fabric you will be using must be a very uh, light fabric that is a fabric that is soft like something like all this lycra and then all this lace and uh, net lace uh, fabric something soft so that it can fall and that's where the beauty is so this is the top of the fabric that i just finished sloping now i'll fold it i'll just aim it i'll aim the two the two before joining them so i'm going to aim it separately that's because of the style i am sewing so you just aim it straight M the first one, M the second one, uh, straight. So what I'm doing to this first one now is the same thing I'll be doing to the second one. Remember, I always said that I use very small fabric for my illustration, but I'll give you the exact measurement for adults. Yes. So now that I am done sewing it, the neck, I'm done aiming the top of these two uh front and back fabric for this gown i will just put it together like you see now ensure that it is equal then i will take a distance where my ends are now should be a distance of on a fold six on a fold you can use six or you can use seven if you use seven it's not bad it means when you open it will be 14 yes so on a fold 
seven or six is okay. Hmm? So, but for this purpose of these tutorials, I'm just using two or three. So, I'll open it up. Then, I'll quickly use uh, my needle or pin to like hold that part down. When I hold it down, I'll hold the second part down. Now, this is where the emphasis for this style is. So, when you hold this neck down, huh, you are going to sew from that point. But on the line, eh, is the same place you will be putting your arm hole. So, you will close a part from where you pin now. On a normal size, you will close about 5 inches. From that neck where you pin, you will close it down 5 inches. That is for a normal size hole. But for this one, I can just close 2 inches. Hmm? You close it down 5 inches. After closing it down 5 inches, you will now leave another opening. Now, the opening that you would be leaving depends on the uh, client or your own round sleeve measurement. Your round sleeve. That round sleeve has to be taken from your the top of your arm the top so that very fat part of your arm is where you take the round sleeve because you know that part has to uh, be able to pass through so now this is the neck that i've opened and this is the part i have closed now i will leave the opening this opening i'm leaving now will be the arm hole so it will be the arm hole. That's the opening I'm leaving now. So I will sew that place. From that part where I open now, I will now sew this uh, fabric down. So I will sew to the first end, turn the fabric, and then run it down. So that's just all I need to do to complete this sewing. You can see how easy it is you can also see how quick it is for you to make it and it comes out very very well i love this this style so much it's very easy so you can use your satin fabric you can use your lace fabric but whatever you are going to use whatever choice of fabric you are making you have to ensure that it is very very flexible very very soft all right, so now you can see the neck, the closed jaw where I closed the armhole, and then I finished sewing and then I sew it down. So, this gown, this gown is in the form of a square, a square. You understand the form of a square, or we can say a rectangle. That's just how it is, but within this square. Or rectangle we have to make create opening for the neck and for the arm hole then we close the rectangle completely just like you see me doing now and that will be all for this particular tutorial so the next thing that will be left is to run the the and that is to end the bottom you understand just end the bottom and you are good to go so if today is your first time stopping by my pla uh, my channel, please do not forget to subscribe before leaving this channel today and I will be seeing you in my next video. If you also have any questions concerning this video, you can also drop it on the comment section. I would be responding to you. For now, it is bye from my end. I will see you in my next video. Bye.